in this problem we have to solve pascal's triangle and uh, we will be given one row number and we have to output the result for that row only and if you don't know uh, pascal triangle then we will run through this example so this has been asked a few times in the interviews of goldman sachs so let's first understand what is a pascal triangle so uh, in this case in the beginning we have in the row number 0 we have 1 this is row number 1 then row number 2 3 4 it will continue so what will happen in uh, row number 0 we have 1 then in the next row we have 1 1 and from here onwards the leftmost will be 1 rightmost will be 1 so you see uh, the number of elements increasing by 1 here we have one element here we have two here we have three so it always increases by 1 and the value here will be the sum of these two so it's 2 similarly uh it's connected to 1 and 2 so its sum is 3 here its sum is 3 now here it should be 4 which is the sum of these two and then 6 4 and so on so uh, a better way to write to think in terms of program would be to write it like this 1 1 1 1 so that you understand that this is zeroth index this is 1 in the array or list whatever we will use so this may confuse you slightly although the problem is clear here 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 so instead of saying that it's the sum of the two blocks above it we can say that it's the sum of immediately the number above it and previous to it so if this is ith ith column we are somewhere here then whatever was the ith a value in the previous row this is row number r minus 1 and we are currently calculating for row number r and we are currently calculating for this column so we will get this value and this value and add to it so whatever is the result older result we add it to it so we are replacing this value so in place of this we can add the previous value one another thing you will uh, notice from here is that from here onwards so all of these are power of 11 so this is row number 0 so 11 raised to the power 0 is 1 11 raised to the power 1 is 11 11 square is 121 11 cube is 1331 11 power 4 is this number and so on so this comes from the exact same region so this is a shortcut to calculate the power of n 11 uh, you uh, write 11 and then keep adding it and here also the digits will increase by one at a time for each power of 11 but here the problem is that this uh, row index that you may be given can be up to 33 so if you see you want to calculate 11 raised to the power 33 so if let's say it's a small number not till 33 but let's say 10 20 or less than that so what you can do let's say we want to calculate fourth row so we will do 11 power 4 we have a ready made function in all the languages so this will return us an int 14641 even if we use long long in c++ it will not fit this 11 raised to the power 33 so uh, we will get this int then our job will be to plug out this last digit by taking modulo and put it here in the vector 1 this will be always symmetric so whether you read from this end or this end it should be same so pick this by taking modulo 10 put it here then divide by 10 so it will become 1464 this digit will be gone again take modulo 10 again divide again take modulo divide modulo divide so this is just uh, one idea i am giving you in case the row index is within bounds then you can these use this very cool trick but here we will not be able to use this uh, i think i have made a mistake here uh, in trying to be over smart so uh, here i was looking at uh, powers of 11 where these are single digits so till 4 you encounter single digits but for the next row what will be the value here it will be 5 here it will be 10 and then uh, again 10 and then 5 but in the power of uh, 11 it will not be the case so when we start getting double values 
then it will not be exactly same as power of 11 since these will be added and then carry forward will be there so don't uh, so just ignore this trick what whatever i told for power of 11 so in uh, code what we can do let's say we are asked to find the row number corresponding to third row that is we have to return a vector or a list with four elements having its values 1 3 3 1 so we know that the row size is this one 4 so we initialize it with four ones then we start filling it in this fashion top to down so if there are k rows then we will have k loops starting from here not this base case so this will be one one let's say we are trying to find second row so what we will do so before second we have one one and we have to build one to one from it and there are other ones also which we have initialized but we are here and we want to build these three values so what we will do exactly below it we will add these two so earlier one was here at this column number so we add the previous value so now it becomes two and uh, we start after zero and uh, before this k value the current row number so this will be for row number two so we will start from one to one if we are in row number three then we will start from one to two if we are in row number k we will start from 1 to k minus 1 so in this case row number is 2 so we will just update this value and these will remain 1 now we have finalized this part and uh, these are remaining so we have to build now four digits which is which will be our result so we will start from here right end since we are modifying the right value to the earlier right value plus previous value so that's why we are moving from right to left or we can do from left to right also so uh, whatever is this value add the previous value but if this is modified then the next value will be wrong so that's why we are starting from here so it will be 1 1 was earlier here then add 2 to it so it becomes 3 then come here 2 was already here so add the previous value which is 1 so it becomes 3 and don't change anything else so it remains 1 3 3 1 similarly if we have to calculate the fourth row so we have 1 3 3 1 and we have one more here so we have calculated till this value so we start from here add to it the previous value so it becomes 4 then we come here add to it the previous value so 6 here then we come here and this becomes 4 and these all remain 1 so this will be corresponding to 4 and so on so here what is the advantage we know beforehand what should be the size of output we are initializing that with 1 and leaving the last one and previous one we run from here to here and keep adding the previous values so we continue till k starting from second one so this and this we finally return so here we are not using any extra space this is the result that we have to re return otherwise there is no more space and time taken would be uh, 2 plus 3 3 steps here then 4 steps here 5 steps here 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way up to k so it's k multiplied by k plus 1 by 2 minus 1 we started from 2 so overall it's k square you can see so time complexity is o of k square and space is O of k if you count this result we have to return a result of size this but other than that we are not using any space so let's write the code for this so this is a illustration of the same problem we know that its size will be row index plus one so here uh, the thing to note is that for three they had given one three three one so that's why uh, the index starts from zero so for three we we have four values and we initialize everything with one
So remember that uh, for calculating the next row, let's say we want to calculate this row from this. What we did, we came at this value, last value of i. And we modified that value, then we moved to this. So this is the j part. So j starts from here and goes till 1. And this was row number was i. So we have two loops here. So here the follow up was to do it in OK extra space which we are already doing. If there is some confusion you can create a temporary vector here and uh, fill it from the previous vector and then update the previous vector. And in the next iteration again a temporary vector create from the previous vector and then replace the older vector. So you can do like that if it's confusing. And the solution is accepted and everybody has submitted in in this time frame only now let's uh, do it in java Now we have initialized it with one, this result, then So there should be row index plus one. Now it's correct. And the solution is accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python three. and the python solution is also accepted.